What's happening, guys? Today I want to do a little different take on the channel. I want to start a little something different. This will definitely be called Gotti's Takes. <laughs> it's going to just be my opinions on certain things with the industry, what's going on right now with the industry. Also, talk about a few other things that you guys have been asking me questions about. And the first thing I want to talk about is the state of the gaming industry. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but since the launch of these new consoles, we literally have seen basically nothing that shows off what these consoles can do. Now, we've had slight glimpses, but we've had pretty much zero definitive gameplay experiences. I know there's been one or two, but in two years, we've had basically nothing. Um, you could argue that Cyberpunk would have been one of those, but we know the disaster that that game was. I did beat it, and I say it was about a 7 out of 10, and it was nothing that blew my mind, anything like that. You know, I can go back and I can look at the games that I have beat this year. Halo Infinite, I did a video talking about that being the possibly the best Halo. But after I look back on it, I got to totally disagree on that. Um, it's not touching Halo 1 or 2, in my opinion. It's a good game, but it's not the best Halo game by far. Again, we just touched on Cyberpunk. Dying Light 2, beat that on PC. I loved every second of that game. It was awesome. Um, Elden Ring, another one that stands out. Loved it, finished it. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Finished it, liked it, because I really dig the Viking aesthetic. But my thing with these Creed games is the bloat in these games is so overwhelming when you open a map in an open world game and there's 300 million icons it's too much i like the rpg elements and i like the open world aspect but they really just need to tone down the over over abundance of icons on the map and, and little things you can do because a lot of those things you can go find are completely worthless they have zero impact on you finishing the game. They're just worthless. And after playing Unity just recently, I kind of want this new Creed to go back to its roots, to be totally honest. Um, beat Gears Ultimate on PC. It was good. Beat it on Game Pass. Um, it ran really well on my rig, but the frames were all over the place. I mean, I was averaging anywhere between 90 to 100, but then it would drop every now and then to, you know, 60, 70 frames. And I read where there were definitely some optimization issues with that. I went back and beat The Last of Us Part 1 Remastered. Now, I very rarely beat games twice nowadays, just like I very rarely, unless it's a classic movie, watch a movie again. With that being said, going back through The Last of Us Part 1 only confirmed what I already knew, and that it is one of the greatest, greatest story games ever created. Um, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And we'll touch on The Last of Us Part 1 remake towards the end of this. It's, this is not going to be very long, guys. But the state of gaming today is just not what it used to be you know i come from the old school of the atari 2600 so i have literally witnessed every single era of gaming from the 2600 to the nes the master system the super nintendo the genesis the saturn the 3do the turbo graphics 16 the neo geo <laughs> the Jaguar, you named it, I had it, I played it. The Dreamcast, one of my favorite consoles of all time. OG Xbox, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just everything. And the state of gaming right now is in such a bad way, in my opinion, as far as quality, as far as services even. Um, you know, PlayStation and Sony both have their new, their services. Uh, Sony just recently announced in the different tiers and these are great services as far as per value should I say but with Xbox the direction of Xbox since last generation has been a direction that I don't agree with and this is a guy that is you know I, my name is Gotti360 on, online 
clearly an Xbox guy. Loved the OG Xbox. Again, one of my favorite consoles of all time. And the direction of Xbox just isn't what it was with the OG and the 360. And it's really sad to see. Uh, I bought a Series X, sat in line for a Series X for 12 hours when they dropped, and I recently sold it. Um, I have a competent gaming rig, pretty powerful, and there's zero reason to own an Xbox if you have a good gaming PC. Just even, even a gaming PC at all or a Steam Deck. I mean, no reason. So, it's just disappointing. It's disappointing. PlayStation, they still drop their bangers. Um, not quite as often, but I feel like PlayStation is going to consistently give us their bangers at least a few times a year. But, you know, when, when you come and you look at some of these things that are, are dropping that people are playing, you know, we've got this. And I'm not knocking anyone who enjoys this because, you know, to each his own. But this, to me, is just absolutely not a game that I have any interest in. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Um, I don't understand how some, why someone would just sit and, and play this and think this is great. I don't understand it. Like I said, to each his own. So if you enjoy it, you know, play your heart out. But I have zero interest in walking around as a cat in a video game. It, it just makes no sense to me at all. Um, I'm not taking any away not taking anything away from the devs who put a lot of time and effort in this game because you have to appreciate the devs and it does look good it does you know visually it looks impressive in certain areas but why 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 is all I have to say and I don't even want to look at this anymore so <laughs> I just don't even want to look at this anymore I have zero reason to look at this game it's you know if any of you guys are enjoying it I'm not knocking you I'm just saying this is not for me and this is not what games were leading up to this generation this is not uh, it, think about it if you're playing on the 360 or even the original Xbox can you imagine playing a game where you're a cat I mean what's next are we gonna be playing as a squirrel climbing trees gathering nuts you know running around, building nests and trees, no point. I mean, I get it, it's a sort of an adventure game, but is it really? Is it really? Does this look like an adventure game to you? I mean, no thanks. So I know the past couple streams I've did, uh, several of you have asked about my most anticipated games, and absolutely my most anticipated game is gonna be the Callisto Protocol. As we know, this comes from the Dead Space developer, we got Dead Space Remake coming, which I'm also excited for, but this is what I'm talking about when it comes to true next-gen experiences. This game, to me, it, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely badass. The brutality is there, the gore, the visuals look awesome. I mean, look at this guy's suit. I think I did read an article not too long ago that said that some people may dis be disappointed because the combat was going to be, I believe it was like 50-50, maybe even more melee based than um, guns. So I don't know how that's going to play out. You guys will have to look into that article yourself. I don't even have the link, but that doesn't bother me a bit because look at this. This looks absolutely awesome. These are the experiences that we need. These are the experiences that Xbox needs to bring their player base. They've got the money, they've got the studios, Xbox needs standout IPs like this, which I know this is going to be multi-platform, but I'm saying they need standout, multi or excuse me, standout IPs that give us that experience like they used to give us. But yeah, Callisto Protocol, this game is going to be absolutely amazing. Another game that... Uh, I'll touch on real quick is this Saints Row reboot. I recently bought Saints Row uh, Remastered for PS5. I never played a Saints Row game. I always thought they looked goofy, you know, killing people with dildos and all that stupid shit. But after playing the Saints Row the Third for a little while, I'm really enjoying it. And this one kind of has me interested. I've um, been watching several videos, and I know that a lot of the fans of the franchise are kind of turned off by it. And um, one thing I'm really, really noticing 
and Rev pointed this out in one of his videos, is the gore isn't there. You see a little blood when you take a head off, but it immediately disappears, things like that. But, you know, when it comes to Saints Row, I think people play it for the goofiness, and the goofiness is still here, definitely. Um, I checked out ACG's video today. You check it out if you guys want to. Um, and he was pretty excited for it. So I'm really thinking about picking this up when it comes out. I really am. I want to finish Saints Row the Third Remastered first. But this one definitely is something I'm a little bit interested in. So that may be on the, uh, on the agenda to pick up in the future. Um, my second most anticipated game, and this was a real no-brainer, is going to be this. <laughs> God of War Ragnarok. Sony said they were going to deliver it this year, and they're delivering it this year. I think it's going to look awesome on the PS5. You got these idiots saying that it looks like DLC for, you know, God of War 2018, which is absolutely stupid. Um, I don't think we have any reason to doubt Sony Santa Monica. I feel like the story is going to fall into place. I don't know how it's going to end up. You got people predicting that Kratos is going to die eventually, but I don't think he's going to die, guys. I really don't. Um, this game is going to be brilliant. The first one was brilliant. Uh, a lot of people are talking about we're going to be fighting a lot of uh, humanoids instead of humans, so there's not going to be near as much gore and blood. But I feel like we're still going to be ripping the heads off creatures, weird-looking creatures. It's still going to be bloody, still going to be gory. I feel like it's still going to be God of War. And I'm in the minority here, but I enjoyed God of War 2018 more than I enjoyed the old-style God of War games. Those were masterpieces. But I liked this style much better than I liked the old style God of War. So God of War Ragnarok definitely up there with uh, number two as far as my most anticipated games. At a close, close number two, right almost at a number one um, in front of Callista Protocol. But another one that I'm super interested in that I played the first game, I tried it, I started it once or twice, didn't finish it because it was just kind of weird at first. But once I dove into it, I really grew an appreciation for the uniqueness of the combat, all the different um, gameplay elements that you had to use in order to get past enemies and this kind of thing. And they've actually added, I believe, a crossbow in the new game. And that is a Plague Tale Requiem. Like I said, love the first one. The story was so deep. And when you finished it, you really, really wanted more. I like the dark, dark vibe that the game brings and like I said the combat you mainly had a slingshot in the last one a torch and there were several other ways you could um, take out enemies but like I said yeah, yeah you see the crossbow here on her back so we're gonna be doing a little more lethal kills which I think is awesome and I already know that the story is just gonna come correct you guys if you've never played the first game it used to be on game pass I don't know if it still is or not but if you've never played the first one I highly recommend you play this first one before this one drops because the first one was awesome. The storytelling was top notch and I have zero reason to think that this one's not going to be. Right there we got some excellent crossbow gameplay. You see right here he's taking people out or she's taking people out. Um, this game's going to be amazing. Cannot wait. For a Plague Tale Requiem. Now another one that I want to talk about that a lot of you guys are on the fence about and I get it. I'm currently playing through Gotham, uh, excuse me, Arkham Knight on PC. I never beat it. I played it on PS4 when it dropped. Started it a million times over on PC. Never beat it. We're doing that right now. Um, and that is Gotham Knights. So I know a lot of you are on the fence with Gotham Knights, and I get it because some of the gameplay we've seen just doesn't look the greatest, but I'm still curious to see where it goes. And to be honest, I don't really think the combat looks that bad. I know that a lot of people are bitching about the combat and the way it looks, but it's not going to be the same as Arkham Knight. It's not going to have that same Batman style whipping ass type combat, and I'm fine with that as long as it's polished. And from what I've seen so far, I'm definitely going to pick this up. Love the Gotham world, the environment, the darkness of it, and I'm curious to see what they do with this game. Definitely curious. I want to see more about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. But as of right now, definitely going to pick that up. 
And then we're going to talk about this. Every year I say I'm not going to pick up Call of Duty. Now, I picked them I've picked them all up, obviously. Ever every single one since Call of Duty 2 on the 360 when I first started playing Call of Duty. But the only one I can say that I regret picking up recently is going to be Vanguard. That was an absolute horrible piece of trash from every angle. Terrible terrible Call of Duty game. Cold War, I liked. It's like a love-hate relationship. Played the hell out of the multiplayer. Dropped it. Went back to it recently. Liked it. Dropped it again. Good game, in my opinion. Good game. But Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, this looks awesome. Um, when I first saw this gameplay, I initially thought that this was new footage from a new, a new engine. And I was watching Dr. Disrespect stream not too long ago, and he said that it's the same engine they've been using. But to me, it just it looks like a new engine. But this campaign footage looks awesome. And I'm hoping like hell that they bring back campaign, the campaign to Battlefield like they're talking about. Because used to when I would pick up COD and Battlefield, you picked it up to play the campaign first and then dove into the multiplayer. And I'm so glad that Call of Duty is, you know, staying with it now with the campaign because this looks awesome. You see the blood splatter on the wall. And like I said, this looks like a completely different engine. Again, I don't know if it is or isn't, but this looks awesome. Definitely looking forward to Modern Warfare 2. I'm hoping that the, that the multiplayer can recapture my love of COD multiplayer from um, COD 2 back in the day on the 360. So many great all-nighters with Jado. Uh, the Inevitable 24, my man Evolution 9X, still talk to these guys on Xbox, um, and we had a clan, it was called LCN, La Cosa Nostra, I created that clan, you guys know what La Cosa Nostra means, and there was probably, I don't remember, maybe 20, 30 of us, and we would link up, and you know, certain of us would link up on each night and we would just run the table all night long. Such great memories. My f personal favorite Call of Duty multiplayer memories. So definitely looking forward to this one. And the last thing I want to talk about is the elephant in the room. No footage of this because I'm not sure if they'll flag and take this video down, but you can follow these links to see the new gameplay. And that's The Last of Us 1 Remake. Um, I mentioned earlier in the video that I recently played the remaster uh, for the second time on the PS5 and you know you got people saying that this isn't a cash grab this is 1 million percent a cash grab in my opinion it is 1 million percent um, Naughty Dog's attempt to cash in on the TV show coming to HBO but with that being said it looks good visually to me I know a lot of people are upset I guess there's no prone there's no um, dodge as far as the combat goes and I don't know really how I feel about that I honestly I don't care I get what they're saying they're remaking it from the ground up they could have added these last of us part two elements prone they could have added more um, cover and that type of thing for you to go prone in and hide and obviously the dodge mechanic on part two was awesome when it come to hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat and then getting shots off and these kind of things but Visually, I think it looks good. Should it be $70? I do not think it should be $70. I think more along maybe $50, $60. But then again, guys, I'm not one of these people that bitches about $70 games because I remember being with my mom in Walmart when I was a little kid. Final Fantasy III had just came out for the Super Nintendo and it was $90. $90. Now you're talking about probably 1990. God, I can't even remember. Maybe 94, 93, maybe? $90. So $70 in 2022. You guys got to chill when it comes to bitching about $70 games. It's not a big deal. The money has to come from somewhere. Um, you know, if you guys want AAA experiences, which we have a huge lack of right now, we need to support these developers and not bitch about paying $70 for games. Now, that being said, do I think. The Last of Us remake should be 70 and I do not because we just had a remaster it still looks great right now trust me I just I just played through it again like I said it still looks great so we technically didn't even need this and in my opinion again 
it's just a way it's just a cash grab to cash in on the mo- on the TV show coming to HBO and from what I've seen also like some of the characters they look kind of funky um, Joel's daughter you know if you guys haven't seen it Joel's daughter looks a lot older than the first game I could be wrong it could be this could be early build I don't know but she looked a lot older than she did in the first game she didn't look like a little kid from the footage I saw in the remake the combat looked decent some people are saying that they redid the gunfights but the gunfights look the same to me as they did in the remaster so um, and obviously no multiplayer which is another reason the game should not be seventy dollars it's just an example of corporate greed guys in the long run um, it's just corporate greed and it's definitely a cash grab there's no way to argue that but that's gonna be it for now guys I just wanted to do a little bit different um, vibe here on the channel let me know how you guys like this would you like more of these videos in the future um, if so chime off in the comment section as always um, let you guys go let me feel free to chime in and let me know any of your guys's takes what are your favorite games coming your new favorite new games coming out and um, just let me know just chime off and I feel like I've rambled long enough appreciate you guys dropping in I'm gonna holler at you guys later Gotti 360 keep it gaming